So as I make my way out of the boardwalk, or out of Ghost Town and into the boardwalk, and into a more roaring 20s area of the park, we do have the boardwalk. So I'm gonna, this is going to be a relatively quick area just because um, it is a pretty simple area as far as rides and stuff. It's meant to kind of resemble a boardwalk, so, or basically like a boardwalk, like a Santa Monica Pier with rides and stuff like that, you see. And here's the first um, bit of um, throwback to the old dinosaur ride that was where Barry Tales is now, the 4D animated ride. So uh, maybe a selfie at some point here, but um, uh, a time machine style stuff. Um, Ghost or sorry, uh, Hang Time, which you see here, is currently closed, but it takes the place of two rides, an old boardwalk and an old water ride that used to be in this area where the end of the line is. So um, I'm gonna stop here for a second to stand in some shade, but in general you have, for example, the boardwalk here, you have a tumbling, twisting ride over there. Um, you do have a coaster up here, which I want to say is the California coasters or something like that. So in general, you get a very Southern California beach vibe and generally just a good time as far as um, mixing the boardwalk with the Roaring Twenties. So overall, very colorful theme, not quite as uh, colorful as, for example, Fiesta Village, but generally just a good chill time. I actually don't remember this swinging right here, so it might have been something in the uh, release in maybe the last uh, 20 years or so. Um, and of course, if you can kind of get um, a view of uh, in time, as I stand in the shade a little bit and back up, you can kind of see how um, intricate um, hang time is as far as the length and scariness and various other factors like that. So. Um, whenever it reopens, and hopefully by um, um, Not Scary Farm, it's reopened, but it is a fun ride to go on. And if not anything, like for example, waiting on the um, one and a half hour, two hour wait time is also kind of tedious. But if you do have the fast lane pass, then it is worth going on. So. With that, I'm going to make my way towards Accelerator. Um, it does look like they're testing out um, California. I'm going to keep calling it California coasters until I pass that entrance, but, or maybe they don't, or maybe they're still working on the lot, the, testing the ride before they let people on to it. But it's a nice, simple little ride, very sharp turns, goes up and down. So maybe at some point I will make my way on to it. Um, and then, of course, I made, as you can see, when I was over there by the graveyard and I saw the sky cabin. Um, now basically at the sky cabin. So that can tell you about how big the uh, park is. And then um, I think before that or before um, Supreme Scream, which you see there, there used to be a ride called Sky Jump. So the uh, Roaring Twenties um, selfie spot for those of you who want to um, take a picture there. So um, in general, the, and it's not uh, California Coasters, it's actually called Coast Rider. So you can actually see the ride in motion going to the top of the hill. It looks like they do have people starting to go on the ride. So pretty simple ride, but it looks like nice and fun. Easy enough to go. Um, 